all right it's a wonderful day and um i'm my daily time with joshua and i'll be taking you to this graphics class too uh, we've talked about lines we've talked about colors but today we'll be talking about textures textures okay so what is texture in graphic design why is it important in graphic design so that's what we'll be looking at today and um i believe you're going to learn something new you're going to learn something for those that are into graphics before uh i believe you will learn something at least and for those that are new please just pay attention okay so texture and graphic design are used by designers to create illusion okay to create illusion so texture is the way a surface feels or is perceived to feel okay we have um you know just like a surface of any material okay it could, it could be rough it could be smooth okay so how it feels is what we call texture so you can create this kind of feeling in your designs okay but we need to be careful how we use them okay so texture in graphic design can make or break your artwork you can break your or disrupt your your design because you know don't forget that um your design is to pass a message that different types of textures actually okay so we have the image texture and we have the pattern texture so these are image texture okay these are image texture and we have another screen okay and these are pattern texture now look at this field now okay these are images okay these are environmental textures these are images of um the environment okay then we have the biological texture we have leaf we have the texture of leaf uh this one looks like um what's it called is it um, a day or tiger or something like that this one looks like a zebra and like that so these are textures okay now this kind of texture uh, shows that the surface is not smooth okay so we also have pattern texture as you can see on the screen repetition of uh, shapes okay to form a pattern all right so that is that is that on texture all right so you can create texture by yourself too and when we get to the practical we're going to be creating textures in photoshop okay as background to our design so your the texture don't forget uh passes a message so it depends on the kind of message you want to pass that will determine the kind of texture you use so i believe you have been able to learn something on texture so see you in the next class bye for now